Hello and welcome to a new Let's Try to Play. Well, part of a puzzle thon at least, so maybe not. Uh, well, it is a new Let's Try to Play, so it does the thing. Anyway, I am going to look at Columns 2. Yes, a game, the second in the Columns series. Of course, I did look the, at the Mega Drive version of this game um, a while back. And so it was, I might as well look at this. The old only emulated version we have seen of this game thus far um, certainly legally is on the Nintendo Switch as a part of the Sega Ages series so yes uh, so Puyo Puyo isn't the only puzzle game that's been given the upgrade treatment by M2 so indeed let's look at Columns 2 The Voyage Through Time yeah that's a weird name for a puzzle game but then again, the um, third game is, well, yeah, we also, believe it or not, have the original version of Columns as well. That is the Mega Drive version, which I have already covered on my puzzle thorn, so I will not do it here. But it is there if you do want to play it. So I am going to play um, Columns 2, the arcade version this is. So yeah. And uh, I'm going to go with the original. So, yeah. I will just look at the options here. So, we actually do have different difficulties. Given that I have not played Columns 2 before, I am going to start on easy. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do versus mode. Depends. Um, in uh, Panel de Pond, of course, if we're going by puzzle games, one puzzle game I do actually love, um... That game did have um, things, but I'm not sure about this one. So, the voyage through time. That sounds like so, so, more like something I'd expect from a, not from a, um, well, um, a puzzle game, but a um, RPG. Seriously. So, flash columns. I'm used to that. So let's try that. So, thus far, I don't see anything different from Columns 1. The gameplay is very similar. And there are also um, and no difference in the thing with the arcade version. Seriously, the background looks nice. I will give it that. Uh, the architecture, um, a bit less orange, I guess, from the original version. The gameplay is the same um, from also Columns on the Mega Drive. Which makes me think, I wonder if this is the originator or not. I know, weird question to ask, but there you go. So, let's place that there. And place that there, and I'm out of... Okay, can I reset? Yeah, I think I will reset this game. So, yeah. Yeah, because I did not do that right, if you know what I mean. So yes, the Mega... Oh, I've already said the Mega Drive version of Columns is here, so we only have two options in Columns 2. I can kind of see why this may not have been... Oh, this does look somewhat different. Okay, so a different thing appears when it does. Okay, this has different symbols. Yeah, okay. I'm down with this. Did I change the thing? I don't think so. Seriously, okay, I do like the architecture, at least, of this one. So, yes, different decals. Decal, is that even the right word? And, yes, if you get the gameplay is the same, you have to get three or more in flash columns. So, yeah, stage clear. So, yeah, and now we go back to columns one style. Okay, so it switches around. That's what where the whole voyage through time because the architecture changes. I get it. Decals, no. I got it wrong there. Is it Mod Nation Racers or anything like that? Game I might want to do? I don't know yet. I don't know if I'll do a race sort of um, marathon like I am doing with puzzle games because puzzle games are fairly easy to pick up and play if you know what I mean. Warning! What warning? Um, okay, um, is the Grim Reaper coming? That is something new, and not something... Oh, that skull is kind of warning me. Yeah, that's what the warning was. I messed that up royally. 
Yeah, so, okay, that's where the challenge is there. Why am I still doing that? Actually, okay, Blanc that there and combo. Okay, what's that do? That score wasn't scary at all, man! And a bonus round. Okay, bonus stage. So we have a... Ah! Right, so we have to clear them all? I guess that's the case. Uh, yeah, weird bonus stage. Okay, I can see what now why this game's called Voyage Through Time. Yeah, seriously. Nice one, Sega. In a good way. I'm not being sarcastic this time. Okay, now I want to put that up there. Warning. What warn? Okay, I'm messing things up already. And of my thing. Okay, you can take multiple things there. Which is very weird indeed. Okay, well, I'm out of thing then. Yeah, I am. Okay, we even get a goddess there. Okay, I'm going to put that in. Continue. Yeah, you bet your ass I will. So let's continue with stage three. I'm going to do this on in the same way I did um, there is a booster move. If I can't advance beyond this one, then then it really is game over. Okay, so we have these strange shrimp. I don't know if they're shrimp really, but humor me. Okay, it was weird architecture, but. Then again, maybe I have no appreciation for art. And there's a warning again, so... I'm guessing it's like the shining jewel that we saw in the Mega Drive version. Because that eliminated, I believe, all blocks of a certain colour. So, yeah. And put you there. Okay, now we're uh, comboing with fire. So, let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Those chilies. I don't know. And now we have a... This is going to be annoying, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like with Puyo Puyo. And also, by extension, Mean Bean Machine. Oh god. Yeah, you know it's getting bad when I'm starting to concentrate and not talk about it. Oh well. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, yep, yeah, I'm done. I do like the whole goddess though. Okay, so that was flash columns. So, hmm. I do like how the architecture changes with that one. Let's see how... We'll in fact, since I have enough time, I am... The jewel case. What? We even get characters from... Fantasy Star thus far. Um, yeah. Freestyle ranking. Yeah, I'm... I am crap. That's what you're going to get back from this. Seriously. This will... May well be the last Sega Ages um, puzzle. Let's try to play in the thing I will do because, to be honest, this was the only other puzzle game I know of that was released on the Sega Ages line for the Switch. So yeah, that isn't the last puzzle game I have bought on my Switch. Oh no, because I have actually bought a, um, another game which apparently was done by Jaleco. Yeah, I well, love that for a blast from the past. I don't even know what happened to Jaleco. Did they go the way of a claim? Well, let's see uh, Colton's 2's um, versus mode, because I did kind of cover it in the uh, Mega Drive version, so why not? 
Okay, so in this one, the background is coming to get you, apparently. Yeah, that is very scary, actually. Not only do we have skulls, but now we have uh, freaking backgrounds coming for your ass. Yeah, not what. Okay. Apparently, I won by just out comboing the CPU. All right. That's the thing I've done. Okay, so now we're going to a machine-like background. Not something I've seen in uh, a columns game, but and. Oh boy, yeah, this does look metallic. Yeah, I like this actually, this motif. No wonder it's called Journey Through Time. Okay, the subtitle is well, um, I was wrong. Giving it a um, subtitle is not a bad thing at all. No, it isn't. Is that one piling it high there? Just on purpose? Yeah, I know I put it on the easy mode, but... Damn! Maybe I should try normal mode and... What kind of motif is this? She shells, she shells... By the seashore? I don't know. Um, yeah, it is a seashell motif. We did kind of see this earlier with flash colors, but I was too busy concentrating. So yeah, I don't know what the other motif was, so... Uh, you got me there. So... Uh, put that there. Okay, apparently... Okay, I... I kind of liked it more on the um, original, seriously. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. Seriously, that's just confusing me. Anyway, that's Columns 2, a worthy um, addition to the Columns series, I think. Anyway, there is one more Columns game that was released in the 90s, and I may well look at it because it is on the um, Sega Mega Drive's Classics um, collection. So, I'll see you for that, I think. So, I will see you then. Goodbye!